Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to route chats using queue based routing in Salesforce. In queue based routing, we will be creating a queue and then we will be assigning set of agents to the queue. Uh, for the incoming chats, Salesforce will route the chats to the agents who are uh, online in omnichannel and based on their uh, capacity, it will assign the uh, incoming chats to the agents who are uh, av available uh, online in Omnichannel and who are part of that particular queue. Uh, so let's see how to set up uh, the queue based routing and then we will uh, see a simple de demo of uh, um, invoking a chat or initiating a chat. So first we have to go to Omnichannel settings under setup and then we have to enable omnichannel and then we have to click save once omnichannel is enabled next step is to create a routing configuration so this routing configuration is to route the chat um, and here one more important thing is units of capacity so here i have set the units of capacity as three it means that uh, for one chat the weightage is three so for example, if the overall capacity uh, using presence configuration is six for an agent, then he can handle only two chats since I'm setting the units of capacity as three. Um, so let's say I'm setting the units of capacity as one and in the presence configuration, the total capacity for an agent is six, then he can handle six uh, uh, chats at the same time since the units of capacity is one. Uh, but here I have set the units of capacity as 3 so for each chat the weightage is 3 and after creating the routing uh, configuration we have to create a queue so I have created a simple queue I have added the supported object as chat transcript and I have added a couple of users to the queue uh, one best practice here is for each queue have only one object uh, in queue, we can add multiple objects, but that is not meant for omni-channel. For omni-channel routing, the best practice is create each queue for each object. So that is one queue per object. Do not have multiple uh, objects as part of the same queue because uh, queue is first in first out. Uh, so agents uh, should be available for all the objects whatever we add here so that the routing happens uh, smoothly for you okay next after creating the queue we have to create a chat button so i have created a chat button i am using the routing type as rom uh, routing type as omni channel and then i am using the queue which we created and i have enabled the queue and then i am setting the queue size as 3 per agent so if i am an agent uh, if I'm actively working on uh, two or three chats, uh, if my capacity is full, there may be three other chats which can wait in the queue so that it gets assigned to me or with the other agents. So I have uh, created a simple chat button. Next is chat deployment. So I created a simple chat deployment and using the HTML code uh, from the chat button and from the deployment code, I created a HTML uh, um uh, page and uh, i just loaded the page now so now let me go online in omni channel okay i can initiate a chat so the chat is initiated So the chat is initiated as an agent. I'm just typing test. So now let's look at the Omni supervisor. See, since the units of capacity is three for each chat, it has taken three capacity. My overall capacity is six. Uh, now it is 50% because of the units of capacity. Uh, one, let, let's okay. If you go to queue backlog, you can see the work size uh, for each chat is three units. Uh, you can go to the assigned uh, work and see for this chat queue. Currently, there is one open and uh, I'm handling that. 
so it is with uh, admin user uh, one important thing to note here is you will see all the requests uh, in the assigned work that are routed via queue if the chat or case or anything is routed via skill based then that won't appear in assigned work so important thing to note maybe in the future we may have skills uh, uh, assigned work so during that time we will be able to see so one important thing is this assigned work is only meant for uh, records which are routed via queue so this is how we can easily set up a queue based routing and then uh, we can uh, start getting and routing uh, chats to the agents thank you for watching